Hello guys, you just received your new BMS 3200 IR. So we made this tutorial video to show you step by step on how to put it together and ready to work. Your machine will arrive in two crates. Start by unboxing the big bowl crate and laying out the major parts. Remove all the parts on the inside and underneath of the machine before removing it from the pallet. Take note, there is a compartment on the side of the BMS with smaller parts and a pair of blades. Mount the rear door by lining up the door hinges with the bolt holes on the rear of the saw. Mount the rib fence rail by removing the first nut on the front two threaded rods. Line up the threaded rods with the corresponding holes and mount the nut on the other side and tighten it. Remove the first nut and washer on the rear threaded rod. This will allow you to mount the rear extension table. Line up the bolts underneath and tighten slowly as you try to align the rear table with the main table. Check for level and make sure the tape side is flush to the main table. Finally, tighten the rear nut on the rail. Now, to mount the rib fence assembly, remove the rear stopper and slide the assembly through. Then, reinstall the stopper. Loosen the fence handle and slide the fence on the main assembly. Check the height and adjust accordingly by loosening the fence handle and lifting the fence. Slide the rib fence back and forth and check for binding. Readjust if necessary. Remove the bolts on the rail side of the saw to mount the tape guide. Finally, tighten and adjust the front stopper. In order to mount the blade guard arm, adjust the machine to 45 degrees to give you access to the slide bolt through corresponding holes. Line up the first bolt with the arm and thread for the first nut. Then line up the second bolt and thread the nuts as well. Then tighten both nuts. After mounting the arm, you may also mount the side extension table. Same as the rear, line up the three mounting bolts and tighten while aligning the extension table to the main table.
At this point, you can mount the blades and riving knife with the tools provided. Hold the center of the scoring blade with a wrench and use a box wrench to loosen the nut counterclockwise. Make sure the scoring blade teeth are facing the correct direction and tightening clockwise. For the main blade, hold the center with a wrench and use the box wrench to loosen clockwise. Make sure the blade is facing the correct direction and tighten it counterclockwise. Before styling the riving knife, check the front of the blade cover for the recommended distance between the blade and the knife. Then, loosen the nut and slide the riving in between the spacers and tighten it at the appropriate distance. Mount the support arm by sliding through the hinged arm. On the opposite side, mount the rubber stopper. Unbox the sliding table. Position it with the black handle side to the control panel side and with the flat part facing up. Once mounted, unlock the table and slide it to one side to expose the first bolt hole. Then, install the bolt and repeat the process on both sides until all four bolts are threaded into place but avoid tightening them down. Put the sliding table on both ends to the reference bolts on the main body of the machine and then tighten down on the sliding table mounting bolts. To mount the support table, slide one side of the table onto the sliding table rail and I lap the bottom of it with the pin on the hinged arm. Slide it far enough to mount the rail stopper on the front end of the sliding table. You can mount the short swing arm by lining up the long pin and installing the quarter pins underneath. Then, align the short pin with the eye bolt and installing the quarter pin as well. Finally, close the arm by the washer and turn the black knob. Line up the bolt holes on the dust guard assembly with the studs on the short arm. Then, mount the washer and lock nuts. For the support bar, remove the plastic end and slide the nuts out. Mount them using the two identical knobs. Then, slide the bar through and mount the front piece back on. Line up the crosscut fence pins, 
one is closer to the slider and the other goes in the minor slot. The third one at the outer end in between the two adjustment bolts. Then tighten down the ones on the opposite ends with two Allen bolts. Extend the fence and mount the two panel stoppers. Mount the end plate on the fence using the four bolts found underneath. Mount the rest of the accessories as shown, such as handles and clamps. Finally, your saw is ready to use. Now you have your machine completely assembled. If you still have any questions, feel free to contact our customer service. They will be happy to assist you with any questions you may have. Maxiwa, helping woodworkers realize their dreams.